Yeah, the Muskies gonna, are going to be a handful down the stretch. And in watching the shoot around, I think we look for Jackson Falk to, to regain some of what he was having before his ankle injury against Cedar Rapids, uh, or excuse me, up in Cedar Rapids against City High. He didn't miss any games, but he was clearly not himself against North Scott on Friday night. And uh, watching him shoot around, he looks much more comfortable, and he was making quite a few shots. It's great to have full participation of the student body. As the Muskies come out, uh, Clinton and the Road Reds, white numbers and trim and black trim. The Muskies and the home whites, purple numbers, Vegas gold trim. It'll be Clay and Hahn tipping, and it'll be controlled by the Muskies. Melendez has it, and we're underway. No score, just underway. Falk in the right wing. He steps into a three. Back iron, no good. A rebound cleared by Williams. Williams in the front court for the River Kings. He works off a Miley screen, swings it over to McGee. McGee out front now for Magruder. And it's back to McGee, and now the, over to Williams. Williams to Clay. Clay feeds it into Miley on Wieskamp. Pump fake blocked by Hahn and cleared by Hutton, and here come the Muskies. Jackson Falk on the right wing. Clinton trying to go right at Joe Wieskamp there on offense, seeing if they can draw a foul early on. Magruder shadowing Joe, and they've got other guys waiting. Melendez to Falk. Falk in the left corner as the Muskies reverse the basketball. Starting out in a box and one, but as soon as Joe catches it, they'll run the double at him. Right now, Magruder covering him. He's running baseline with Wieskamp through a screen. Could have been a foul there. Joe over to Falk to Hutton. Hutton in the lane. Tries to feed it inside to Melendez, but it's stolen away by Williams. And here comes Clinton in the front court now. There's Ricky Clay with a 15-foot shot, and it's good. Nice open look there from the high post. For Clay and just a nice looking smooth jump shot. Clinton gets a first basket a minute and a half into this one. 6.30 to play in the first two Zip River Kings. Wieskamp, three right wings. Splash, Joe Wieskamp. And the Muskies go up 3-2. Muskies in 2-2-1 full court pressure. Ricky Clay down the lane, lays it up and in. 4-3 Clinton. Camp down the floor, back to Falk. Falk over to Hutton. Hutton steps into a three right wing. No good rebound. Cleared by Williams, and here come the River Kings. Down the floor now. It's Magruder. Magruder out front for Clay. 16-footer. No good rebound. Wieskamp, and here come the Muskies. Clay feeling it. A little heat check there. Joe steps into a deep three, top of the key. No good rebound. Miley, one and done for the Muskies, and here, come, here comes the River Kings. Williams over to McGee. McGee swings it back to Williams. He takes a 17-footer. Oh, boy, nothing but glass. And I mean nothing but glass. <laughs> and a rebound cleared by Wieskamp. Ahead for Hutton. Hutton swings it to Falk. Quick pace early, Joel, but not a lot of scoring. Going to call a moving screen on Antonio there. Uh, just got a little aggressive on the screen. Probably reactionary to getting run through on that two possessions prior. Muskies in 2-2-1, three-quarter court pressure now. Youth Sports Foundation bringing you Muskie basketball. McGee dribbles it up, now he gets it to Magruder. Magruder over half court, splits a double team Ooh. and a foul. I think it's going to be on Lex Hahn. I think it's on Hutton. And it is on Hutton, you're correct. They got him. On Sorry, the... Lex, I didn't mean to give you one there. <laughs> no, that's all right. They got him on the reach, <laughs> and uh, I, I saw the foul. Just was kind of a delayed reaction by the official. I thought it was a decent call. Just He split the Hahn and Hutton double team, so I knew it was one of them. There's a pass over in the side from Magruder. He holds it on the left wing. Joe doubles him. Now he bounces the Miley baseline. He drives a lane. Shot blocked, but a foul. And I think this one's going to go on Lex. The That'll thing, be the first on Lex and the third on the Muskies. And Miley did what we saw the last time these two teams played. The minute he gets the ball and has any room to move, he just attacks the rim. He's a very aggressive offensive player and a confident finisher at the rim. Really, uh, really an active player with good spring in his step. I think he had 15 rebounds against the Muskies at Clinton and was very active that night. He came off the bench that night, too. Miley makes a pair, and Clinton ups her lead to three. It's six to three with 4.50 to play first quarter. Josh Hutton walks it up now. Right side for Melendez. Melendez back to Hutton. 
Hutton gets it to Wieskamp. Joe with deep three right wing. Back iron, no good. Rebound Hutton. Josh drives in the lane, feeds Joe. Shot no good and a foul on the floor. And it's going to be on Ricky Clay, his first and the first on the River Kings. Just a nice feel there for Josh Hutton in the point guard position, finding Joe on that flare screen to, for the three. Folk for three out of the inbounds. Jackson Falk knocks it down, and we're tied at six with 425 left in the first quarter. There's Miley to Clay. Clay drives baseline, lays it up and in as they break the press. And it's eight to six, River Kings. Clinton's done a really nice job handling that press so far this game. Uh, two really good effective layups for Clay. There's Falk bounces it into Hahn. Hahn back to Jackson Falk. And Matt Koss with a great catch on the side. Right in front of me here. Protecting us and his laptop. He was protecting his Mountain Dew. He didn't care about anything else. <laughs> And there's an inbounds pass as Clinton turns over the Muskies. Up front now, Devontae McGee. McGee picks his dribble up, passes it inside, and there's a shot up, no good, and a rebound cleared by Wieskamp. Shot missed by Williams there. Down the floor, Melendez. Over to Hutton, swings it to Falk. Jack turns down a three, gets it to Joe. Now it's back to Falk. Over to Hutton. Now to Melendez. Swings it to Falk. Jack's got to take that shot. Tries to feed it to Joe. They're tripling him. Jack's got to shoot that. There's a drive on the way. Shot no good and a foul again on Clay. And that's two as he jumps over the back. And a second on Clinton. And Clay's going to go to the bench. And that's very similar to when these first two teams played. Clay got into foul trouble early. And uh, he's their leading scorer here early on. And he's just two aggressive fouls there on the off on the glass. And you mentioned it, Brian. They're they're really compacting that lane. Joe's trying to uh, post up, get something going inside. If they're going to compact it that yep. much, Hutton and Folk, all these guys. Yep. Uh, Jack made away. his last three. I would not be shy to take that shot. Eight six Clinton, three fifteen to play in the first. As Jared Simpson is checked into the lineup, replacing Ricky Clay, who has two fouls. Affordable Metal Manufacturing, your local source for cut-to-length metal roofing and La Marilia Mexican Restaurant, bringing you musky basketball. Thank you to all the fine musky sponsors out there. Because of you, this makes musky basketball possible. Josh Hutt, not high. Over to Antonio Melendez. Melendez steps into the gap, bounces to Hutt, and he'll take a three left wing. Rattles out. Good look, though. Wieskamp with a putback. No. And a foul inside. I believe it's on Simpson. I thought that went Actually, down. Actually, it's on 10. It's on time. Magruder. I thought Josh had one go down. That was a great looking shot. It's his first team's third. First on Magruder, the third on the River Kings. Both teams of three team fouls. Wieskamp go to the line to shoot two. 84% in the year, and the first one is good. Uptown Motors, what a best used car dealer in Muscatine. Eight years running, supporters of Musky basketball. Joe's second free throw on the way back, bottom of the net. We're tied at eight, Wieskamp with five. McGee dribbles into the trap and the ball stolen by Wieskamp and cleared to Falk. Here come the Muskies. Good defense by the Muskies. Melendez in the front court to Wieskamp. Joe swings it over to Falk. Out to Melendez. Melendez picks it up back over to Jack Falk. Now they try to feed Hutton and Simpson steals it. And here come the River Kings. In the front court is Williams. Williams now to McGee. McGee swings it over to Magruder. And Clinton resets. Ty Magruder doing a nice job defensively on Joe Early. There's a left-handed three top of the key. No good. Simpson high in the air. Keeps it alive, but Wieskamp clears the rebound again for the Muskies. Joe down the floor. Over to Melendez. Kicks it to Falk. Falk in the left corner. Back to Melendez. Under two to play. There's Jack stepping into another three. No good. Rebound on the floor to Simpson. Good hustle by Wieskamp as he was... Muskies were trailing there. Down to four. Melendez steals it, but a foul on Antonio. And that'll be his second. And the fourth on the Muskies. And that's a, that's a situation where I thought it was... It was close, but Antonio, that bigger is, is having two fouls this early in the game. Big foul. Coach Belger looking down the bench there. 
as Melendez out there with two fouls, 145 to play in the first. We're tied at eight. Lex Hahn's going to come right back in as Howard has just come in to replace him. Short rest for Lex. There's Lemke out high. He swings it over now for Williams, who's checked in. And now it's back out front for Williams. Lemke drives into the paint, loses it. Picked up by Williams. They feed it back to Lemke, lays it up and in, and it's 10-8 Clinton. Lemke was our leading scorer the first time we saw him going into that game. He's coming off the bench tonight. Wieskamp drives the lane, shot no good, and we got a foul. It looks like we got another opportunity here for some free throws for Joe. Just trying to figure out who the foul's on. On Jared Simpson. That's on Simpson, his first. His first, team's fourth. Fourth foul on Clinton. Joe Wieskamp back to the line to shoot two. First free throw, good. CBI Bank and Trust ready and willing to help with all your financial needs. An integrated therapy specialist, PC, providing quality physical therapy and Muskie basketball. On checks in now for Melendez. Muskie's going as big as they can as Wieskamp makes a pair. Joe now up to seven, and we're tied at ten. This is almost like a Purdue lineup. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> three guys, six, six, and taller. We got the three Hosses out there. <laughs> 55 seconds to play in the first in the front court. River Kings tied at ten. There's a three by Lemke. No good, and a rebound cleared by Hutton. Ahead for Hahn. Lex Hahn drives down the lane on Simpson. Shot no, and a foul on Simpson. And that'll be his second, and we'll see if it's a shooting foul or on the floor. I really like Lex doing that. He's got a two-on-one break with Joe. Everyone thinks he's going to figure out a way to dish it, and he just attacks the rim and drew the foul. Hahn will shoot to 50% on the year in the first one. No good. Kind of a flat first quarter for the Muskies. Second one by Hahn is good. And the Muskies go up 11 to 10, matching their only other lead of 3 to 2. It's really been kind of the story of the last three games for Muscatine. The first quarter has been almost a, a probing, trying to figure out what they're going to do, and then adjust from there. Lemke swings it over to Miley in the corner. Now it's out front for Williams. Brandon Williams swings it for Frederick Williams. Clock at 18. They're going to play for one. Good quarter for the River Kings coming in on the road here. Playing some confident defense and attacking that 2-2-1 press. Clocks at seven. He works on a Miley screen. Frederick Williams now over to Simpson. Into the corner. And there's a... He stepped out. He stepped out of bounds. And that was Brandon Williams with .4 seconds. So this will be the end of the quarter here. Yeah, this is a, a tough one to get a, get a tip. <laughs> I can safely say that'll be the end of the quarter. Oh, we almost made it. Two from Muscatine High School. Brian Michel, Joe Cross, our 11 to 10 Muskies. Lemke rolls off a screen, bounces it back out from Magruder. Almost over and back, and it yeah. is over and back. Muskie ball. Yeah, this couldn't be a better view for that call. I was right on it. He was <laughs> over and back, and a good job of the official to, to catch up and make the call. It's Hahn, Hutton, Folk, Howard, and Wieskamp for the Muskies. Miley Lemke. Uh, Brandon Williams, Ty Magruder, and Ricky Clay for the River Kings. There's a ball stolen by Clay, who's in there with those two fouls he got in the first quarter. There's Miley in the front court in the right wing. Hesitation on Howard. Swings at the Lemke. Corner three for him. No good rebound. Cleared by Lex Hahn, and here come the Muskies. Hutton in the front court. Right wing. Picks his dribble up. Back to Falk. Back to Josh. Josh turns down a shot. Now he swings it over Jackson Falk in the corner now for Hahn. Jack drives the lane, gets it to Howard, lays it up and in. Great pass from Falk to Howard. Nice interior passing. And the Muskies go up 13-10. There's Brandon Williams out high, guarded by Hutton, crosses him over. In the paint, Lemke for a corner three, no good and a foul on Hahn, and that'll be his second, and Lemke will go to the line to shoot three. 
Yeah, not the situation you want to foul a shooter in the three-point situation. So Hahn and Melendez each with two fouls now with 6.49 left in the first half. Lemke will go to the line 64% of the season. First free throw, no good. Vision Center PC, only the finest care and vision, the very best for your eyes, bringing you musky basketball. Lemke with two more. Second one, no good. Cooper Zek checks into the musky lineup for Lex Hahn. And Devontae McGee is actually coming in for the shooter, is he? High V Food Store bringing you musky sports. And the free throw good. Lemke makes one of three, and it's 13 to 11. Muskies by two. Joe Wieskamp had seven points and five rebounds in the first quarter to lead the Muskies. There's Wieskamp in the front court. Down the middle of the lane, lays it up, but he's fouled before he gets to the basket, and he'll shoot two. Ty Magruder doing his best to try to deny the basketball, but just a really nice inbounds pass to get Joe a running start at the lane. Fouls on McGee. That's his first. They don't call it a shooting foul. I thought he was shooting two. On the floor, okay. Hauled it on the floor. Looked like Joe was going. He took off from the free throw line, so I guess it's. He'll get that next year in the Big Ten. <laughs> the Muskies will inbounds under their own basket. Hutton bounces to Zach, lays it up, and in! Cooper Zach. He doesn't score a lot, and it's nice to see him get a free shot on the inbounds. Really good screen for the screener there, rewarding Zach with a nice, easy layup. Zach now with two, and the Muskies lead by four. There's a baseline shot by Miley. Good. Brett Miley, the fine-looking junior, knocks it down, and it's 15-13 to 13 Muskies. Wieskamp out front for Hutton to fall. Jack at three right wing. No good rebound, Miley. And he clears it, and here comes the River Kings. Chance to tie or take the lead. Hesitation dribble out Travel. front by Williams, and he's fouled. And it's going to go on to Hutton, and Hutton now with his second foul. Muskie's piling up some fouls. Three guys with two with 6.07 to play in the half. And both of these teams don't have uh, super deep rotation, and so we're going to have some guys stepping in and having some opportunities to... Sir, have a good night tonight. McGee out front. Gets it to Miley, top of the key. He's guarded by Howard. He swings it to Brandon Williams. Back to McGee. The lefty takes a three. No good rebound. Hutton. And here come the Muskies. Wieskamp down the floor, and there's a foul. And this is going to go on Ty Magruder. And that'll be his second. And the bonus. Seven. So the Muskies in the bonus already. Both teams in the bonus the rest of the half of 5.47 to play. Wieskamp won in the bonus. Muscatine Lumber bringing you musky basketball. Muscatine's only locally owned and operated lumber yard. Joe, the first is good. Wieskamp with a three-point field goal and five free throws. That's his scoring so far, and he'll get the bonus now. Free throw on the way by Joe is good. Six for six from the line, and the Muskies go up. And that sometimes has to be the formula. No, they don't, no team really lets him get clean, easy looks, and so he's getting to the free throw line and doing some damage there. There's a pass off the side of the backboard and out of bounds. That's tough to do, Joel. That's impressive. It's like a horse maneuver there. <laughs> off the side of the backboard, catch it by the bench <laughs> for three. By Devontae McGee. It's like the putt in uh, Happy Gilmore. 17-13. <laughs> Muskies lead by four. 5.25 left in the first half. Melendez back on the floor with his two fouls. Hahn and Hutton on the bench with their two fouls. Falk back to Melendez. Box and one, and there's a holding foul. That's a third a one on call, time. And that's on Magruder. And that's his third. Clinton did this in Clinton. They really, and all the teams we've seen yeah. in the MAC do this. He's working hard. Joe's just tough to guard. And he earns so many fouls against opposing players because of how he works off of the screen. And he almost baits defenders into having to hold him. And, and he, he's just a very skilled player getting open and drawing the foul. Joe makes the front end, and he's got 10. And now he'll get the bonus. 
Second free throw good by Wieskamp. Eight for eight from the stripe. And the Muskies lead 19 to 13, their biggest lead. McGee in the front court. Between the leg dribble on Falk as the Muskies are in man. Lemke guarded by Zek. He drives down the lane. Runner on the way. Rolls around it in. Brennan Lemke with a runner. And it's 19-15 Muskies. Wieskamp down the floor as Williams steps out on him now. They bounce it to Howard in the corner. Back to Wieskamp. He steps into a three. Good, Joe Wieskamp. And Wieskamp with 14. Four more points, and he will pass Dean Oliver into third place in the all-time scoring list. Timeout, Clinton, 4.32 to play. We are back at Muscatine High School. Brian Musell, Joe Crossar, and the Muskies gotten it going a little bit here in the second quarter. They 11, 11 to 10 after one, and they lead 22 to 15 right now with 4.32 left in the first half. Joe Wieskamp with 14 points so far. Three more points ties him with Dean Oliver at third place on the all-time 4A state scoring list, and four more points moves him into third place all by himself. The future Hawkeye about ready to pass a former Hawkeye who's an assistant at Wisconsin, and we have a final. The Hawkeyes defeat the Badgers 85-67. Gotta Iowa love it. City. Go Hawks. The Hawks with a much-needed 18-point win over the Badgers tonight at home. There's a bounce pass into Miley. Miley on the block, fade away, no good rebound, Wieskamp. And here come the Muskies. Joe brings it over half court, guarded by Brandon Williams in the corner for Folk. They feed Howard. Hook shot up, no good. Rebound tapped. And Zek runs it down. And now Howard clears. Swings it to Folk. Jack back out front for Antonio Melendez. Now it's to Wieskamp. Three ball left wing. No good. And a rebound cleared by Brandon Williams in the front court. And he carried the basketball turnover River Kings. Pace of play picking up here out of that timeout, and that really benefits Muscatine. That's how they want to go. They want to get you moving and makes it a little bit harder to track 21 when everyone else is running up and down the floor. Wieskamp brings it over half court to Falk as Brandon Williams is shadowing Wieskamp. Now Joe gets it, and he's doubled. Now to Melendez. Melendez out high. Swings it to Falk right wing. Back to Melendez. Antonio to the elbow, back to Jack, wide open three right wing, long air ball, no good rebound. Zach, great hustle by Cooper to Falk. He drives in the paint, shot up, no good, tapped and cleared by Miley, and here come the River Kings. Good look for Falk. There's a pass deflected by Zach. He's giving you all he's got tonight. Lemke, a left wing three, no good rebound, tipped up by Miley, no good and cleared by Howard. Yeah, right now, loving the effort from Cooper Zek and Bryce Howard on both the offensive and defensive glass. Wieskamp drives the lane, and he's fouled on the floor, and Joe go to the line to shoot one of the bonus. And that's Ricky Clay, and that's his third. Clay has six points and three fouls now as Tyree Williams checks into the lineup. Yeah, with replacing the, Bryce Howard. And with the foul trouble with uh, Lex Hahn, you know, Tyree's going to get some opportunities here. He's a really good athlete, hasn't seen a lot of minutes this year, but uh, he's a nice player when he finds his opportunity. Wieskamp goes to the stripe. Front end is good. Joe with 15. Two threes and nine for nine from the stripe. Came into this one 84% of the season. Those numbers are going up. And the second free throw, Joe makes his 10th free throw. He has 16 and the Muskies go up nine, 24-15, their biggest lead of the night. Lemke on the right wing, drives in on Zek. There's the runner, no good rebound tap. Brandon Williams clears it and banks it in from 14. 24-17 Muskies. Melendez for Wieskamp. Three ball right wing. Good, Joe Wieskamp. Wieskamp now passes Dean Oliver for third time on the all-time state scoring list, Class 4A, as Joe now with 1,996 career points. Two more than Dean Oliver. There's a pass out of bounds, and it'll be Muskie basketball. 27-17, the Muskies by 10 with 2.20 left to play. Yes, Joel, you're right. Three threes and 10 free throws. 10 for 10 from the stripe. 
And it shows you the overall uh, roundness of his game. Louise Camp pounds a dribble as he brings it up the floor. They run the double. They're trying to just get Joe to get rid of the basketball. Williams has it out front for Melendez. Two guys guarding Joe now. It's Brandon Williams and McGee. Now Zek tries to free him with a screen. They swing it to Falk in the right wing. Back to Melendez to Joe. Joe will shoot that shot. Now it's back to Melendez. Nice feed to Cooper. Zek pump fake and a foul. And this is going to... Boy, he landed hard. Let's hope he's okay. Yeah. Jared Simpson, and that's going to be his third. Cooper Zach hearkening back to the, the days of Wade looking Bill with a great pump fake down on the block, getting the defender up in the air. Zach is 60. Wade looking Bill, yeah, the ultimate pump faker. Was there a better f pump faker than the, the, the phenom from Fort Dodge? Zach Wade will shoot to 62% of the year, and that one rattles out. <laughs> You're right. The Wade looking Bill pump fake was legendary, but Dr. Tom was the master teacher oh, of the pump fake. And Cooper's a, a tremendous player. He's a good kid. Had the pleasure to coach him in eighth grade football, and he's a lot of fun to be around. Cooper makes it. He's got three. A field goal and a free throw, and the Muskies go up 28-17. Their biggest lead of the night, 11. In the front court now, McGee swings it over for Frederick Williams. He bounces it to Brandon Williams. Brandon Williams goes left baseline. He loses it, and it's out of bounds. Muskie ball. Clinton just gets a little out of control at times on the offensive end, and it's cost him dearly here in the first half. And, and I think they get they get interior against Muscatine, which is much longer than they are, and they it affects the decision making. Melendez in the front court. 126 left in the first half. The Muskies lead 28-17. Antonio swings it to Jackson Falk right wing. Back to Melendez. Over to Wieskamp. Deep three left wing. Good! Joe Wieskamp with 22. One point away from 2,000, folks. Get on your feet. 31-17. Muskies by 14. There's Lemke guarded by Zach and a blocking foul on Cooper. And Lemke will go to the line to shoot one on one. And, and you can feel the crowd knows it. The crowd's paying attention. They, when he hit that shot, they started to get a little bit more excited because they know the, the record that's on the horizon. One minute left in the first half, 31 to 17 Muskies. Brennan Lemke won in the bonus. It's a seventh team foul the Muskies. He misses it. He's one for four from the stripe. Here comes Joe. I wouldn't be surprised to see a pull up right here. Wieskamp looking at it, but he dishes it off to Melendez. Joe Wieskamp, get your cell phones out, folks. History's coming. Joe Wieskamp over to Falk. Jack Falk on the right wing, back to Joe. Joe trying to clear himself, and he's fouled, and he's going to earn it at the stripe as he get two free throws. 37.6 seconds left in the first. And Joe Wieskamp at the line with a chance to become the third player in Class 4A all-time to reach a 2,000-point club. And the free throw is good. Joe Wieskamp knocks it home. 32-17. That's 2,000. And they just announced it. Al Hilton announced it here. Quite a feat, Muskie fans. 2,000 points for Joe Wieskamp. You're not going to see him strolling through the halls anytime soon. It's an unbelievable feat for a high school athlete and a great young man. And Joe's second free throw is good. Joe makes them both, and that's fitting. He's up to 24 to Muskie's lead. 33-17, Joe Wieskamp now just continuing to set new heights. Frederick Williams on the right wing, clock at 20 seconds here in the first half. He pulls it out as they're gonna play for one. Boys camp with 24, the Muskie 33 points. Williams out high, over to Brandon Williams. Williams drives in now. 
Out front for Lemke. He shoots at the buzzer. It's good. He knocks a three down. And we've played a half. It's the Muscatine Muskies 33 and the Clinton River Kings 20. We are back at Muscatine High School at the half. And the Muskies lead the Clinton River Kings 33 to 20. Joe Wieskamp on a historic night has reached the 2,000 point club. He's now at 2,001 with 24 first half points, four three pointers, and 12 for 12 from the free throw line. Muskies will come out with their starting five at Jackson Falk, Lex Hahn, Antonio Melendez, Joe Wieskamp, and Josh Hutton. Hutton and Hahn picked up two, and, and Melendez, all three of them got two first half fouls and had some bench time there, but they're all here to start the second half. Ricky Clay with three fouls for Clinton, along with another starter, Ty Magruder, but they're both out here. They, they're both playing with three. So it's Magruder, Williams, that's Brandon Williams, McGee, um, Miley, and Clay starting for Clinton. Melendez out of high. And now they're literally just double teaming Joey's camp. This is what they did in Clinton. There's a, this is a triangle in two, but there's two guys running with Joe. Muskie's going to get a lot of open looks as Hutton steps into a six footer and gets his first basket. And it's 35 20. West Side Store and Godfather's Pizza bringing you Muskie basketball. West Side Store, home of the 99 cent slice on Mondays. Down the floor, they tried to feed Miley. Now Clay the shot. No good rebound, Wieskamp. The rebound number seven for Joe. Down the floor, Jackson Folk left wing. Cross court for Hutton. Wide open, three right wing. Short, no good rebound, Ricky Clay. And here comes the River Kings. Brandon Williams in the front court. He picks his dribble up, bounces it to Clay baseline on Hahn. He drives in, shot blocked by Lex. Clay gets it back to Miley. Miley swings it out front now for McGee. Lex Hahn, the human eraser tonight inside. Right side for Brandon Williams. To Clay, Clay on the baseline. He steps into a 15-footer, rattles no good rebound. Wieskamp, and here come the Muskies. Joe to Falk. Jack feeds it inside. Hutton to Hahn, reverse layup. No good, tipped up and in by Joe Wieskamp. And it's 37-20, the Muskies by 17, their biggest lead. McGee, or excuse me, Brandon Williams out of high. Over to McGee. McGee rubs off a clay screen. Now they feed it to Clay. Five footer, no good. Wieskamp with a ninth rebound, and Melendez goes to the deck. And we got an injury timeout as Tonio went down hard as he collided with Miley. It looks like their feet just got tangled. I was watching them. It was literally just, they both were turning and running, and their, their heels clicked. And Antonio went down, and then <laughs> that insult injury, his back of his head kind of hit the thigh of yeah. Miley as he was going down. Tone doesn't want to come out, but I think they have to because yeah, they, they stopped, stopped it. So Cooper Zek checks in for him. He'll be okay. Hutton drives in, shot up, blocked, and the rebound picked up by Wieskamp. Now it's out high. Falk feeds it into Hutton. Turn around the lane. No good rebound. Miley and a foul on Hahn. That'll be the third on Lex and the first on the Muskies here in the second half. Muscatine trying to get back into the offensive flow here coming out of halftime. A little slow start here. Muskies picking him up full court man here to open the third. Brandon Williams brings it up on Hutton. Clock at 545 in the third. He picks his dribble up. Clay steps in, 16-footer, no good. Good looks for the River Kings. Can't get him to fall. There's a pass up to Jackson Falk. To Hutton, swings it for Hahn. Hahn cross court for Falk. He take a three left wing. Good, Jackson Falk. His second three, and he has six. It's 40 to 20, timeout Clinton, full timeout. Yeah, because you know, you're never gonna have better looks <laughs> than you get playing with Joe Eastcamp. I mean, they literally it, changed from their box and one to let's just go double team Joe wherever. He is. So you just think about those. Like I, I played baseball with Nathan Panther in high school. Yeah. I saw a lot more fastballs because he was batting right behind me in the lineup. You know, it's the same thing on the basketball floor here. A couple of Nate and I still Panthers. missed them all. Great baseball player was <laughs> Nate Panther for sure. McGee to Miley over now for Magruder. Magruder swings it over back to McGee now. Brandon Williams on the left wing. 
Now they feed it into Clay on the block on Hahn. Nice pass to Magruder, shot no good and rebound Wieskamp, and Joe now with 12 rebounds to go along with those 24. Joe with a deep three, short no good rebound Clay. He punches it ahead to Magruder and he loses it, but he regains it, now he swings it over. Clay has it inside to Miley. Miley with a shot good and a foul on Hahn, and that'll be the fourth on Lex. And the second on the Muskies of Bryce Howard to get up off the bench, actually Melendez. Monsanto, sustainability is the heart of who they are, bringing you musky basketball along with Bogey Motors, your full lineup of quality pre-owned used vehicles. Miley 64% of the year from the stripe, and the first is short, and a rebound, Magruder lays it up and in. Good hustle by Magruder. Strong rebound there from Magruder. Coach Belger not happy about that. <laughs> 40 to 24 Muskies, four and a half to play in the third. Melendez on the right wing, out front for Hutton. He plays catch with Melendez. Back to Hutton as Magruder and McGee, both guarding Joe Wieskamp. They're like, you got to 2,000, but we're not going to let you get any more glory tonight. There's Hutton in the lane, bounce it to Zach, lays it up and in. Cooper Zach with a career high five tonight. Played very well off the bench, and it's 42-24. There's a pass, nice pass to Miley from Magruder, and he lays it in. Miley with eight leads the River Kings, tying Lemke. Yeah, good look there from Magruder. 42-26, Muskies by 16. 340 left here in the third. Hutton pounds a dribble out high. Over to Melendez, left wing. Melendez, I don't think Tones shot one tonight. Back to Hutton. Hutton picks it up over to Falk, and it's stolen away by Clay. Ricky Clay down the floor. All the way to the rim, loses it, and is picked up by Melendez. Down the floor comes Antonio. Swings in the right wing, back over to Hutton. To Falk, and a timeout, Gary Belger. Yes, he's working really, really hard with these kids. Muskies. Get it in on the side out after the timeout. Melendez now to Wieskamp. Joe in the left corner. Joe goes baseline. Now he bounces it back to Melendez. Antonio swings it over Jackson. Falk with a three right wing. Good, Jack Falk. And that's a big shot for Jack. His third three, and he has nine. And those are the shots that need to continue to fall as the year goes on as Muscatine hopes to make a run moving into the tournament. 45-26 Muskies, 2.40 to play in the third. Zach slaps it away and steals it to Falk. Good defense by Cooper. Coach. Down to Florida Hutton, back to Zach. In the lane, out front now for Jack Falk to Melendez and the Muskies reset. It's almost a volleyball-like steal there. <laughs> oh, and there's Melendez with a cross-court pass. Through the legs of Zach, turnover Muskies. Chad Yoakum in the house filming this. This game can be seen Thursday and Friday, 10, 3, and 8 on Channel 9 and 709 on your MPW HD package. Lemke in the front court. Trucks oh. Unlimited bringing you Muskie basketball. Magruder swings it over now for Brandon Williams. He rubs off a clay screen back to Lemke. He works off a Miley screen. Lemke drives a lane, tries to feed Clay, and Melendez steals it. Here come the Muskies. Antonio to Jackson Falk. Now they feed it to Wieskamp baseline. Joe goes hard, and he's fouled. And we'll see if it's on the floor. Clinton staff not happy with that. That's on Magruder, and that's his fourth. Yeah. And, and Joe Mark, will shoot two. From our vantage point, they, they rode him all the way out of bounds. So Magruder now with four, with 152 left in third. Wieskamp will shoot two. Perfect from the stripe, and he misses it. I just jinxed him. There it is. The old Sorry, Joe. The broadcaster jinx. 12 for 12, no more. After leading at halftime, the Muskie girls are now tied. Uh, 34 to 34 with three minutes left in the fourth quarter. Big game for Susan Arbor Scott. Joe makes a second, and the Muskies go back up 20, 46-26. Wieskamp with 27. There's a ball on the floor. Lemke picks it up, and it's stolen by Melendez. Great hustle, but he travels. 
And, and Coach Belger's okay with yeah, that effort. That's great effort, and that's the right call. He did travel. He was sliding with the ball. But it, it prevented it was probably going to be a big-time dunk, yes. which is why the fans are frustrated. But that was a great defensive effort there from Muscatine. McGee in the front court to Lemke. He's guarded by Zach. Back to McGee. Bounce pass over to Brandon Williams. Williams drives in now over to McGee. McGee left wing feeds Clay on the block. Turn around, no good rebound. Zach to Melendez, and here come the Muskies. There's Wieskamp stepping into a left wing. Three, no good, a rebound on the floor, and it's going to be a foul on Cooper Zach. Yep, just going up for the rebound, and he took Clay to the ground. That was a 50-50 call. I, I, I understand why they called it on Cooper. He kind of happened to just have his hands yeah. on top in that situation. <laughs> that, that's exactly right. Zach with his second. He's played great for the Muskies off the bench tonight. There's Brandon Williams over to McGee. Devontae McGee puts it on the pine. Now he swings it over to Miley, and it's stolen by Wieskamp. And here come the Muskies. Jackson Falk down the middle of the court. Jack bounces it for Zach in the lane. Pump fake shot, no good rebound, Lemke. And here comes Clinton. And when you come off the bench and you bring the effort that Zach has brought, your teammates start to reward you for that. He had My a great chance there. Miley with a baseline jumper, no good rebound, Wieskamp. Down the floor comes Joe over to Melendez, and the Muskie's going to hold it for one, leading by 20 here in the third. They've done their job on Joe in the third. They've held him to three. He had 24 at the half. Now sits at 27. Antonio pounds a dribble clock at 15. Now the Muskie's got to go, and he takes a deep three. Yes! Yeah. Antonio Melendez knocks down a three. There's a runner by Brandon Williams. No good. McGee gets it at the buzzer. We played. Back at Muscatine High School, quarter number four. The Muskies lead 49-26. Frederick Williams has it up front. Melendez, who just knocked down that big three at the end of the quarter, all over him there. Antonio, a great defensive player. Lemke drives a lane. Runner shot, no good. Wieskamp clears another rebound. I believe that's 13 for Joe. Joe down the lane over to Folk. Bounces at baseline, and it's stolen away. Couple of updates. North Scott and Assumption heading to overtime. And uh, Bettendorf leads West by five late. There's a shot by Simpson Good. And starting after three quarters, Danbor North and Central are tied. And that's a bit of a surprise there. Simpson with a shot, and the foul is on Cooper Zeck. That's his third. So Lex Hahn will check in for him. Fourth is, team foul on the Muskies. This is that time of year with the second time through the conference. It's what you think is, it's never what you think it's going to be. That's for sure. Simpson will go to the line to shoot the three-point play, and he makes it 49-29. Muskies by 20, and I thought when we played at Assumption a couple weeks ago, I thought they were really a good basketball team. They had a big loss losing Sean Peters for the year, though. There's Wieskamp, corner three, no good rebound. Cleared by Folk, but off his hands, it'll be Clinton Ball. Bosch Pest Control bringing you musky basketball. Don't squash him, Bosch him. <laughs> One of the best <laughs> themes ever. Frederick Williams now brings it up. Melendez on him. Down the floor. Clock at seven to go here. McGee on the right wing. Back to Frederick Williams. Now they feed Miley at the high post. Back to Fred Deep, three by Williams, short air ball, no good, and out of bounds. Muskie ball. We've got uh, so the Muskie girls are tied 36, just under a minute to play in regulation up there in Clinton today. No Muskies. Hutton walks it up for the Muskies. It's Hutton, Folk, Melendez, Hahn, and Wieskamp. Lemke, McGee, Simpson, Miley, and there's a foul inside. As Wieskamp and Wieskamp, as Frederick Williams and Wieskamp are tied up. Nothing major in the right corner. And there's a foul. And it's going to be on Frederick Williams. This is a 
That's what you got to be careful of, making sure nobody does anything irrational. No. I think Antonio was having a little chat, but it was more or less just to look out for his, no, absolutely. For his guy. It's just we, we saw these two teams yeah. boil over in the football season. We don't want to oh, see yeah. that carryover. That's for sure. We, yes. Lest we forget that one. I, I, I wish I didn't yes. have to bring it up. I, it's, 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 <laughs> as a coach, you just think about that stuff all the time. 6.37 left in this one. 49-29, Muskies by 20. There's Hutton back out front for Melendez. He drives into the paint, and there's a travel. On Miley stole it, but he walked with it as soon as he got it. Yeah, this is a... I've just been really impressed with Cooper Zek. I know Cooper just keeps getting a rest here, but he has really impressed me tonight. There's Falk with a quarter. There go, Jackson he Falk. He's got four threes, and he's feeling it. The Muskies need his scoring, and it's 52-29. The Muskies by 23. And he called the shot before the night. He came up at the in pregame warm-ups and said, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it tonight. <laughs> I told him I wanted 20 out of him. There's a shot, no good by Williams, and a foul on Melendez. That'll be the third on Antonio. Antonio is kind of like that that horse in the Kentucky Derby that you just you have to hold him back a little bit. Now that he he had that foul trouble early, he he brought the reins in, didn't do anything too crazy. Now he's got the fourth quarter and only three fouls to give. He he's going nuts now. Antonio is one of those guys you hated to play against in practice because you know he played like this in <laughs> practice too. I was like, man, it's just practice. <laughs> Miley out front over to Lemke. Lemke spins, and he's fouled by Falk, and that'll be the first on Jack. Temp Associates, the employee marketplace, bringing you musky basketball. Brandon Williams and Ricky Clay check in, and Miley goes to the bench along with Frederick Williams. Six team foul on a Muskie, so Clinton could be in the bonus from here on out. McGee, out front now for Brandon Williams. 5.40 to play in this one, the Muskie's up 52-29. Lemke for three, good, out of the right wing. Lemke now reaches double figures with 11. He leads Clinton. There's Folk, he's gonna take another one. No, Jack misses this one. A rebound cleared by Brandon Williams. Lemke looked at a three, now he takes it on the run, shot up and in, Lemke now with 13. And it's 52-34, the Muskies by 18. There's Wieskamp in the right wing. Timeout, Muscatine. Muskies come out of the timeout. Coach Belger wanted to cover a few things there. Wieskamp will inbounds. On the right wing, gets it for Hahn. Hahn inside, turnaround, no good rebound. Joe Wieskamp goes high in the air and snatches it. Joe drives the lane and he's fouled and he'll go to the line to shoot two. How many rebounds is that for Joe? I, I've lost my count. Wieskamp with 15 rebounds. So just a, bit, a little bit over his average. Joe will go to the line, he's 13 out of 14 from the stripe. Can't jinx that because he does have a miss. Right. It's right. <laughs> That's the rule. And he makes this one. Joe now with 28 points and 15 rebounds. Just another day at the office. When you're averaging 34 and 14, this is peanuts for Weiss. And he makes two. <laughs> that sounds Joe. like a punk rock band. Peanuts <laughs> for Weiss. <laughs> Joe up to 29, but just five here in the second half as Clinton really harassing him. But Joe's teammates have really picked him up. There's a shot tapped up and in by Brandon Williams. 54-36, Muskies by 18, 440 to play. There's Hutton to Falk. Now they feed it to Joe in the right corner. Joe, they run three at him. Now to Falk. Jack picks it up, swings it to Hahn baseline. Back to Falk to Melendez. Antonio drives in, but Hutton for three. Short, no good in the rebound. Out of bounds, Clinton ball. Hy-Vee Food Store, where there's a helpful smile in every aisle bringing you musky basketball. Along with First National Bank of Muscatine, proudly supporting musky basketball. Brandon Williams and Melendez all over him. Picks his dribble up. Now he swings it over to Simpson. Now to Lemke. Lemke with 13. Wieskamp on him now. Clay 
Throws it inside, shot no good by Simpson. Rebound cleared to Hahn. And here come the Muskies, under four. And the Muskies lead by 18, Wieskamp. Down the lane, shot up no. Slap around Joe, reverse layup no good. Tipped up by Hahn and in, Lex Hahn with a great tip in. Lex Hahn now with three points. There's behind the back, McGee to Clay. Clay drives in, stutter step, shot up and in. Ricky Clay has eight. Clay's a really good player. Just foul trouble derailed him early in this game. Hutton walks it over half court. 56-38, the Muskies lead, 320 left. Hutton pounds a dribble out high. Over to Melendez, he drives in, feeds Lex Hahn, he goes in. Lex looked like he wanted to dunk that, and he get, got fouled. And the foul's on Simpson. I like the aggressive move. And he can dunk. Oh, yeah. He wanted that one, so Lex will go to the line to shoot two. Lex Hahn will shoot two. Lex Hahn's free throw good. Hahn with four. And Noah Yon, the young freshman, checks in. I want to mention something because yeah. the Muskies won the sophomore game tonight. And Noah Yon chipped in 42 points. Quite an effort by the freshman of 42 points in the sophomore game. And your reward, you get some extra minutes in the varsity game. You bet. Great future ahead for Noah Yon. There's a shot, no good. Rebound Simpson. Throws it out front for Brandon Williams. Runner on the way, no good rebound. Ricky Clay, no good. And now it's cleared by McGee. Back to Brandon Williams. Runner on the way, no good rebound. Hutton gets it. And here come the Muskies. 240 to play, and the Muskies lead 57 38. There's Jackson Falk left wing. Feeds Wieskamp, lays it up and in. Joe up to 31. And it's 59 38. Melinda's set to check in now with 225 left. Magruder back to Brandon Williams. He picks it up for Simpson. Out front now for McGee. Clinton moving the ball. Clinton hasn't quit here. These kids have played hard. There's Magruder on the runner. Shot no good. Tapped up. Out of bounds. Musky ball. Yeah, Magruder especially. He's stood out to me tonight. He didn't, that shot didn't fall for him, but he really has played, done a nice job defensively and done a good job uh, taking, limiting Joe Wieskamp here in the second half, but just good athlete, good, good basketball player. And he, he root, I like seeing kids out there working hard. Williams is checked in and Melendez checks back in and Falk goes out and Hutton go out. Joe Wieskamp got a little... Must have a little blood as yeah. Nicole tapes him up real quick. 2.03 left in this one. The Muskies lead 59-38. Wieskamp leads the Muskies at 31. Folk has 12. Clinton is led by Lemke with 13. Ricky Clay with 8. And Brett Miley with 8. Yeah, the Muskie girls. Victorious, 38-36 up at Clinton. Noah Young steps into a three, and the freshman knocks it down. And the Muskies go up 62-38, their biggest lead of 24. There's a three in the right wing, good by Magruder. Well, here's the thing. You know, you get a kid like Noah Young who right now is playing at the sophomore level, but come tournament time, he might be the sixth, seventh man in the rotation to yeah. come off and hit some shots. And he will, and there's a... Timeout as Jan knocked down another three, but Belger had called a timeout. <laughs> Homogenous team. They don't really have that one real tall I like guy. that word. Go I mean, ahead. they're all 6'1 to 6'3, and they all can shoot, handle the ball, and they're good passers. So that's a, that's a tough out for anybody in Class 3A. A homogenous team. <laughs> Thank uh, you, Beth. Now now I, I, want, I want some <laughs> milk. Yeah. 120 left in this one, and the Muskies lead 62-41. Muskie's swinging on the right side. There's Bryce Owen who's checked in the game. Joe Wieskamp, his night is done with 31. Newest member of the Iowa 2,000 point club. 36th person overall to hit 2,000 points in Iowa High School. And a third in 4A. And there's a foul on the floor. I don't believe he's the first one that Coach Belcher has coached, as I believe he was an assistant on those Palmer teams with Troy Skinner. Yes. 
I think you're right. I think he, I know he coached Troy Skinner in middle school, and then you're right. I think he assisted. And now Drew Logo will check into the game. So the Muskies have Joey Martinez, Drew Logo, Noah Yon, Tyree Williams, and Bryce Owen. No one could pump fake like Wade Looking Bill, and no one could take a charge like Troy Skinner. <laughs> There's a pass to Yon off his hands and out of bounds. He was going to shoot ball. that when he caught it. Absolutely. Why not? <laughs> Everything he's thrown up tonight has gone in. 42 points in the sophomore game, as we mentioned earlier. There's a pass to the high post. Get some new players in on both teams. For Clinton, there's a three out of the corner. For a two. And that's Riley Berglund knocks down a two. And it's 62-43 Muskies. Joey Martinez out front. Clock at 40. Stay tuned after the game for the West Side Store Godfather's Pizza Post Game Show. Well, they are CBI Bank and Trust Player of the Game. Tyree Williams shot up and in. Tyree Williams. And it's 64-43. There's a deep three for Clinton. No good. Rebound Jan. And down the floor comes Noah Jan in the middle of the court for the Muskies. Clock at 15. Swings it to Joey Martinez. Joey feeds it inside. Tyree Williams shot on the way. No good rebound. Drew Logo shot on the way up. No good rebound. Tapped around. Logo gets it back. And they blow a whistle. But the game's up.